Well, hello everyone, Dillian here with your Happy Throwback Thursday, and our rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on the Battle of Geon for Geonosis from 2011, or 2011, of course. So, on the front of the box here, we would have the Lego Star Wars logos, and the blue Captain Rex border from from both this year and also the summer wave the year prior of course and special edition which makes it Toys R Us exclusive so rip Toys R Us of course well unless you or nowadays part of Macy's obviously you see picture of everything going on in action and also all the main things included new Luminar unduly well new for the time of course and recommended ages is 8 to 14 set number 7 8 6 Nine has 331 pieces. And on the back side of the box, you see everything in another position. And same border again. And also the features of the set. And also advertisement for the for three other sets from the time which I previously reviewed on Throwback Thursday. But yeah. And that's it with the box. And now onto the booklet, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, kind of went on the online survey. Add for Lego Club and advertisement of of most of the other sets from the eight from the time which I previously reviewed on Throwback Thursday, of course. And then all the mini things included and the features of the set again and the pieces that come with the set of course and then the last building steps so now on to the mini things included with this set First up we have a regular generic B1 battle droid, OH straight arm and same since 2007, everything else same as it's been since uh, 1999, so, but of course, there's, there's good to have multiples for army building as much as possible, of course. And then next to which is a super battle droid, which has been seen in sets since either 2008 or 9, well, Oh, it's continuing on here, of course. And then have Umara and Dooley. Well, an updated Clone Wars version of her. So even though... A little different than the one that came a year prior in the Swamp Speeder, of course. But of course, this with the Clone Wars style eyes and, of course, wielding the green lightsaber, of course. And then last of which is Phase 1 Captain Rex, of which, and of course the helmet uh, print of which just, and of course the same molding as most other Phase 1 clone troopers and has the unique clone gear, or gear for most clone troopers, There's, and also the side whole pieces, which was a common thing with most clone troopers at the time, and of course, which we rarely see much nowadays, but whatever, and of course, Wielding the small blasters, also common from the era, from the time. And that's Fuel Finder, of course. Of course, pop this off, and see his face printing underneath, which is common for most uh, clone troopers as well. Or common for him as well. And then on to the back side of each of the minifigs, you can kind of see that Captain, that Captain Rex, only one that has some back torso printing, of course. Whereas, whereas for Luminara, only one of this whole lineup that has a double side face, of course. And this, which has a pair of goggles. Yeah, a pair of goggles for when she's on this on the bark speeder, and if that is included with this set, of course. But yeah. And I guess. That is about it with this main pink lineup. And then next to which we have a Bark Republic Bark Speeder. 
and from foot. And as you can see from first glance, it was all just the same that came in the uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack set from the same year. And here's a little, a little, a little comparison of that. And see? All of which the same, but the only difference is the Battle Pack one is green and this one is dark red. And of course we did see another uh, bark spear with this color in 2014 Balance Lukamai set. And also kind of another example of of like including the same build in multiple sets with no changes at all. But the but the only change is color, of course. Although what Lego should have done is maybe include like a different uh a bark speeder, or even just a small ATRT walker, or whatever. Sing, and of course, make it a little different. And, uh, which, but whatever. And of course, although I'm not going to say anything here. Well, since I already said much in my review on the Clone Trooper Battle Pack, of course, but. Yeah. Now on to the main part of the set, which is this large droid cannon for as you can see, quite an interesting uh, build that we never got to see in any other remake or whatever of. Since of course it's on the four legs and it's a large cannon, even though the following year there was the Geonosian cannon with that was an actual cannon, of course. So now, first off, for these legs here, which are pretty much just uh, corner wedge pieces with a couple of, with a cheese slope and a couple of jagged slopes around, kind of like we saw with some other walkers. And then onto the rest of the legs, which are comprised of a couple of wedge pieces just as uh, kneecaps to it, and then the rest of which. See, just Technic beams going up to it, and also connected with the so little pistons here. So, like, if you can pose it outwards and all, and it does help with stabilization, of course, so at least get a little bit of posability to there. Then, as for this, and of course, same story with all four legs, of course. <coughs> And as for this center part, which, as you see, it's just uh, bricks stacked on bricks with a couple of, sl of plates in between. Since, of course, it's how they oftentimes were at the time. They, of course, have a couple of swivel plates it's in there so you can swivel the legs in and outwards, of course. And what this gear part is for is so you can raise and lower the head part of the cannon. And of course, it does have a clear Technic gearbox piece kind of built into it. And then backside, which is kind of like completely exposed for that. Although, what I think is maybe could have had a couple other jagged slopes going upwards, but maybe that would kind of interfere with the launching mechanism here. So of course, had to leave as is. And as this one side of which, which is. Exposing just a, a tile and a plate on there, but on the other side of which has a couple of Technic bits and also a seat, but in control panel with just pretty much just which is just a plain trans blue tile piece. So just nothing going on on it. And of course, and you can just take your battle droid and just clip the hand onto one side of it. And then you can just uh, control it, of course. And then now it's for the top bar, which have probably like either uh, radar kind of dishes or maybe eyes or whatever. But of course, comprised of mostly dish pieces and on in both dark gray and smaller ones in dark red, of course. 
that has from the other side of which, which has a large dish piece there. And also these uh, curved slopes on both sides to add in some smoothness to an end, which transitions upwards to there. But although this kind of cuts off with a jagged slope underneath for that. Then on to the top part of which, which has probably the, a car uh, side piece to there and also a curved uh, brick to there. And then going upwards to a uh, round brick or a bunch of round bricks with this column like one and then regular ones and then ending off with a barrel of course to represent the gun barrel to it. So now what the, as for the main feature which is for this red part of which which kind of sticks out a bit but, but of course why it's, it has to stick out is so you can know where the launching feature is and of course by tapping on that you then you know, uh, launch a spring a little missile right out to it so of course this been around for a decade well at this time at this time of this one for that which I'm not sure if they got defunct or if they still use them well if you know much about that tell me in the comments of course So now on to the final verdict is overall I think this is which a pretty good set for how it is well but although for the main fake selection I would have suggest maybe instead of, of another battle droid maybe at least also could have included another uh, phase one clone trooper since of course kind of fitting to the second battle genosis arc in the clone wars which and of course, good to have uh, Captain Rex included in a set since having, well, Phase 1 version, which haven't seen since, like, uh, mid-2008 in the ATTE set from that year, of course. And of course, whereas for the $40 all of this was at the time, this was well worth it, regardless if it was a Toys R Us exclusive or whatever. Whereas the main builds of which, although still wish that instead of the bark speeder could have been a uh, ATRT walker or whatever. But, but of course, since this is an earlier set, probably don't matter by this point. But if this was remade nowadays, I would expect it to be included there. And instead of the uh, spring load launcher, instead the newer spring load launchers instead, of course. And then maybe perhaps uh, not sure what else. And of course, an actual control panel piece instead of a blue tile, of course. And then, and of course, this is well workable with like if you're making a large diorama mock of a big war on Genosis, of course, along with gunships and ATTEs and so on. But yeah. And, and, if, and so if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay, Bricklink, Macari, whatever. And that's about, oops. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.